another episode of EBSC 생활 영어. I'm Megan Bowen. 안녕하세요, 여러분. EBSC 생활 영어의 선현웅입니다. 반갑습니다. 여러분 안녕하세요. 안녕하십니까. 네. 오늘은 우리가 어떤 결정을 내리는 것에 대해서 음. 이야기를 해볼 텐데요. 음흠. 결정을 잘 내렸다고 하더라도 마음이 또 바뀔 때가 있어요. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's usually not a problem. You can change your mind. That's your yeah. freedom to do so. Yeah. But some people do it a lot. Yes. All the time. They Or, can never stick with one thing, right? That's right. They yeah. change their opinions too quickly mm-hmm. or they are changing their minds when they are not supposed to. Yeah. Okay? So, 자, 이것에 대해서 오늘 이야기를 해볼 텐데요. Mm-hmm. 어떤 핵심 표현이 기다리고 있을지 메간 선생님의 독백을 듣고 한번 여러분 찾아보세요. Okay, it's time for today's keyword. keyword. I'm so excited. I'm going on vacation with my sister and we're going to a place that has nice sunny beaches. So I'm packing my swimming suits and of course I'm packing my flip-flops, you know. Flip-flops are interesting because when you walk they kind of go like this. They kind of change their position, right? So there are some people who are constantly changing their position or their opinion. Hold on. Hello? What? Are you kidding me? Okay. Bye. That was my sister. She just changed her mind about going on vacation with me. She said she didn't like the city that I chose, but she said she liked it before. Now she likes another city. She's always changing her position or her opinion. And today's keyword is just that. Someone who says one thing one day and then their opinion just changes the next day. And it's kind of related to those shoes that I was saying I wanted to take on the beach. What do you think today's keyword is? So I hope through my clues you were able to guess it. But in case you didn't, or if you did and you want to check, let's introduce today's keyword. 네, 오늘 키워드 정답은 바로 flip flopper. Flip flopper. Flip flopper. 인데요. <웃음> 원래 아까 이야기했던 신발 종류는 mm-hmm. 영어로 flip flops. Flip flop. Flip flops. 인데요. Mm-hmm. 뒤에 s가 붙어요. Mm-hmm. 그 이유는 양쪽 두 쪽이기 때문이고요. Yes, there are two. 네, 그것을 그 flip flops라고 부르는 이유가 슬리퍼인데 가운데 이제 발가락 엄지 발가락과 검지 발가락 사이에 끈 하나로 연결되어 있는 걸 flip flops라고 하잖아요. Mm-hmm. 그게 걸을 때 보면 약간 소리가 나면서 왔다 갔다 해요. Like, yeah. I'm 소리... wearing some now. Yeah. But you can't hear it. 네. <웃음> 그래서 그 모양처럼 uh-huh. 왔다 갔다 위아래로 막 앞면을 보였다가 뒷면을 보였다가 하는 그 모양새를 mm-hmm. 사람에게 적용을 하는 거죠. 그래서 mm-hmm. flip flop per라고 하면은 어, 변덕이 심한 사람. Mm-hmm. Somebody who flip flops. 네. A lot. 그렇죠. 이랬다 저랬다 하는 사람. Mm-hmm. 또는 자주 그 의견을 바꾼 건 아니지만 mm-hmm. 심하게 확 바꾼 사람. Mm-hmm. 음, 그런 사람을 이렇게 말합니다. Mm-hmm. 자 그러면 이제 키워드에 대한 이해는 되셨을 것 같고요. Flip mm-hmm. flop per이고요. Mm-hmm. 대화 나눠볼까요? Yeah. I always love our little conversations and I hope that you guys can learn some more English and practice right along with me. 네, 이, 이 질문들의 답변을 여러분도 같이 해보시면서 영어 mm-hmm. 공부하실 수 있을 겁니다. Okay. 첫 번째 질문은요. Mm-hmm. Are you a flip-flopper? Mm-hmm. Are you a flip-flopper? No, I am not a flip-flopper. Mm. Usually when I think of something, I stick to it. 아, 그래요? Mm-hmm. 어떤 생각을 한번 갖게 되면 그대로 유지를 한다. Yeah, 네, usually. 변덕쟁이가 아니군요. Mm-hmm. Flip-flopper. And you probably are not a flip-flopper as well. Am I right? Mm, I don't think I'm a flip-flopper. Mm-hmm. 저는 생각이, 저도 마찬가지로 한번 정해지면 많이 mm-hmm. 안 바꾸는 것 같은데 mm-hmm. 그 전까지 고민은 좀 많이 하는 것 같아요. Oh, right. right before making that decision, mm-hmm. I think I spend a little more time than average. Uh-huh. Mm. And that's okay, but that's not technically a flip-flopper no. because you didn't decide yet, right? 네, 뭐 우유부단한 거랑은 달라요. Mm-hmm. 그래서 indecisive랑은 달라서 mm-hmm. 결정을 하는데 시간은 오래 걸릴 수 있지만 한번 결정하면 그대로 간다. Right. That's not a flip flopper. Right. That's not a flip flopper. So I think the second question was related to being indecisive, was mm-hmm. it not? Mm, so 맞아요. we could talk more about it in this question. 제두 번째 질문을 살짝 먼저 보셨군요. Mm-hmm. You had a sneak peek. I did. <웃음> 두 번째 질문입니다. How is it different from being indecisive? Mm-hmm. Indecisive 하고 어떻게 다른지에 대해서 좀더 이야기해 볼까요? Mm-hmm. So indecisive just means it's harder for you to make decisions mm. in the first place. But then once you decide, 
If you change your mind, that's a flip-flopper. 그렇죠. Mm-hmm. Indecisive 하면 은 이것도 결정 중에 하나예요. Mm-hmm. You need to be able to decide things um, on time. Mm-hmm. 시간에, 제 시간에 맞춰서 어떤 결정들을 내릴 필요가 있는데 mm-hmm. 그걸 못한 경우에 뭐 점심 식사 뭐 먹을지 결정 mm-hmm. 못하거나 아니면 이거 살지 저거 살지 헷갈릴 때 mm-hmm. 고민될 때 너무 고민 많이 하면 은 indecisive라고 mm-hmm. 하죠. Mm-hmm. 그런데 그 후는 이제 한번 결정 내린 거 유지한다. Mm-hmm. That's not a flip-flopper. Right, it's okay. not. So, indecisive, uh, an indecisive person and a flip-flopper are technically different, okay? They're totally different. 네. Right. So, don't worry if you're indecisive, you're not a flip-flopper. 네, <웃음> 좋습니다. 세 번째 질문으로 바로 가볼게요. Okay. What did you recently change your mind about? 최근에 생각을 바꾸게 된 것이 있는지 질문을 해볼게요. Mm-hmm. What did I recently change my mind about? Yeah. I don't think there was anything recently so you that I can think of. Rarely change your mind about things. Yeah. That's great. You are such a non flip flopper. Well, that's because I'm usually indecisive, so I spend a lot of time thinking about what I decide. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 그렇다면 사실 결정을 내리는데 시간을 많이 쓰는 건 좋은 거네요. It's a good thing to spend a lot of time mm-hmm. and put a lot of effort into the decision. I think so, because then once you do it, You're sure about it, yeah. right? You're not doing anybody harm by spending a lot of time thinking about a decision. No, you're not. Yeah. Right. So, so it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And so since you also don't flip-flop very often, mm. you don't change your mind a lot. Yeah. I, Have you recently changed your mind about anything? Um, I usually never change my loyalty or change my mind about my own loyalty toward a brand. Mm. And I recently almost did. So I almost went over to a competitor company from my um, usual go-to company. Mm. But then I ordered something. They didn't have anything in stock. Mm -hmm. So I came back to it. So I I didn't change my mind eventually. Right. Okay. 여러분은 최근에 어떤... 생각을 mm-hmm. 아니면 여러분의 의견을 바꾼 경험이 있는지 mm-hmm. 한번 생각해 보시고 이런 경우라면 사실은 플립플로퍼까지는 아닌 것 같아요. Yeah, I don't think we're flip floppers because 네. we seem to rarely even change our minds. <웃음> 네, <웃음> 한번 여러분 그 여러분의 생각 또는 경험을 홈페이지에 남겨주시고요. Mm-hmm. 이렇게 다양하게 이야기를 하는 이유는 그만큼 플립플로퍼를 mm-hmm. 더잘 기억하실 수 있게끔 도와드리기 위해서입니다. Mm-hmm. 네, 이제 And, 기억하셨죠? Uh-huh. I hope you guys can remember. So what we're going to do is take a look at the monologue once again. Let's watch. I am so excited. I'm going on vacation with my sister. And we're going to a place that has nice sunny beaches. So I'm packing my swimming suits. And of course, I'm packing my flip-flops. You know, flip-flops are interesting because when you walk, they kind of go like this. They kind of change their position, right? So there are some people who are constantly changing their position or their opinion. Hold on. Hello? What? Are you kidding me? Okay, bye. That was my sister. She just changed her mind about going on vacation with me. She said she didn't like the city that I chose, but she said she liked it before. Now she likes another city. She's always changing her position or her opinion. And today's keyword is just that. Someone who says one thing one day and then their opinion just changes the next day. And it's kind of related to those shoes that I was saying I wanted to take on the beach. What do you think today's keyword is?